On Sagittarius, how are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for July 2022. So in this reading, Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding July 2022. So before we get into this general reading, Sagittarius, if this reading resonates with you, definitely smash that like button and subscribe if you have not already for future updates. That would really be greatly appreciated over here, Sagittarius, as well. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram. The link to my official Instagram account will be in the description box underneath this reading. If I see you over there, then cheers. I really do appreciate you as well, Sagittarius, but uh, my nose is itching. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this reading and see what it is that would like to come through for you for July 2022. As always, I would like to thank the angels, <laughs> the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Sagittarius. Go ahead and see what we got here for you, shall we, Sagittarius? Okay, Sagittarius, interesting energy you got going on here for sure. Um, a lot of you are going to be reevaluating your relationships and the way that you treat people. Like, I hate to say it like this, Sagittarius, but a lot of you are going to be like getting a reflection of like a reflection of a universal principle that what energy you put out is what you basically get back. Okay, what you put out is what you get back in this universe. And um, some of you are going to have to really go into an uncomfortable truth here about your behavior that you've done and not that it's anything crazy bad, but just like subtle readjustments here that you can do. In your opportunity, you have the seven of swords here. For some of you, you're definitely gonna have to um, spot someone who may not really have your best interest in hand, someone that you really don't really wanna be around. But for the vast majority of you Sagittarius, I'm actually getting that you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to really like look at like Maybe you need to get out of a bad situation before it gets worse. This is your opportunity to spot something. You know, for for you Sagittarius, it's like coming through as like, you're going to have to really admit to yourself that maybe you're not where you want to be exactly. And um, it's almost like you're going to have to let yourself down, but it's really not you who you're going to let down. It's like the, the idea of where your life should be. And of course, that may involve other people who have certain expectations for what you should do with your life. You're going to have to let someone down. But also, there is this combination of a frequency of um, understanding that if, listen, like if you are being treated a certain way by other people, it's like maybe you've treated them that way in the past or like something. In your challenge, you have the Three of Swords here, Sagittarius. So a lot of heartbreak, um, a lot of pain, okay, a lot of challenges when it comes to the mind um, and the Seven of Swords is your opportunity, the Three of Swords is your challenge. So yeah, it's like getting out of a lifeline that doesn't really suit you and maybe making sacrifices to do that. Um, to, to really, because like, you're looking at like you're reinvesting like, hmm, like what do I really need to do here? Um, it's almost like you can take a path of instant gratification um, that most of society takes here or you can really like choose to be humble 
and to basically risk it for the biscuit to level up your life on a powerful level. We're going to have to see what this is about when we clarify Sagittarius, but in your overall general energy for, um, for July 2022, you have the Hermit, you have the Seven of Pentacles, and you also have the Two of Cups. So first thing coming through here, Sagittarius, is like this person is looking at everything that they've planted, the seeds that they've planted. You know, he may be happy with this result or he may not be. And the Hermit is like reevaluating like everything basically going on in your life and, and saying, hmm, is this really where I want to be? Where do I want to invest? You know, now that these seeds are beginning to sprout, you know, where do I want to invest my energy? And the two of cups here is about thinking about people, you know, like what type of people do I want to be around? This could revolve around anything for you, Sagittarius. We're going to have to see as we clarify, but a lot of deep contemplation, reflecting, also reflecting on like what type of energy are you getting back in your life? Is it the same energy that you've put out? Um, just to be vulnerable with you for a second, Sagittarius. It's like sometimes I have a tendency, like when I slip into ego, I'm like, you know, like screw what other people think i can like be harsh to cer certain people and um sometimes i get that reflection back and like people are harsh to me and i'm like why are they so harsh to me and then i think about my subconscious and i'm like oh it's because i was harsh to people too so i don't know that could be going on we're gonna have to clarify but in your what you don't see coming you have the devil the page of pentacles and also the page of cups here, okay? And what you don't see coming for July, 2022. I basically feel like a feeling like uh, you might be like pissed off about a downgrade in your life. Pissed off about a downgrade, you know? Like you could move on from a certain relationship that you were getting benefits from. You could move on from a certain job that you were getting benefits from. You could move on from a certain mindset or way of behaving of putting out energy that you were getting benefits from because you are understanding the meta level awareness where oh if i keep doing this it's not going to be good but as well there's a there's a set of problems here you're really going to have to look at like your bad habits as well i think that's right underneath the hermit the devil um that's why this is your opportunity okay like getting out of a bad habit maybe before it destroys your before it destroys you basically it's literally what i'm getting sagittarius and it, it's like it's something that you might just brush under the rug and think is like a really small deal but it's going to catch up with you in the long run like you could just tell yourself like oh you know i could just like smoke cigarettes and it's no like big deal and i don't have any judgment here like listen i'm not perfect at all but it's like it's like something you're doing it's like you know it's not good for you but you're just like oh you're not really seeing the meta level of like how it's affecting you and then what you don't see coming two pages here i mean you could have love offers coming your way sagittarius here page of cups and also the page of pentacles here um i'm getting that you're gonna have to take a step back to take a step forward and uh you could be dealing with love i do sense that you know some of you may just be dealing with someone in love who is a little bit immature right devil page of pentacles page of cups three of swords two of cups so, so just be aware of that and the advice from your spirit guides here um it's it's interesting and what you don't see coming you have two pages and then in the advice from your spirit guide you have two queens you have the queen of swords and also the queen of wands you also have the the nine of wands here in the advice from your spirit guides sagittarius okay so there seems to be some sort of unfinished business of like putting up with something that your soul just doesn't really want to put up with here. I am getting that you're going to have to harness the power of fire and the power of air. So tuning into spirit, like the power of fire and air, what, what do you get when you get that? You literally get like a forest fire, like picture fire, like a fi flamethrower and then someone putting wind on it. It could blow out the fire, but it also could make like a flame here. And, um, there, so we're going to have to clarify what this is about, Sagittarius, but there also could be uh, people that, you know, because you're showing up as kind of a queen, especially for the women out there, and uh, pages are in what you don't see coming. You could, a lot of you definitely are going to have like devilish love offers and whether you want to do, what you want to do with that is up to you. I have zero judgment at all. But what I'm telling you is like, you're on a lifeline that needs to shift. It needs to shift. It's it's like spirits telling you no, like get out. Like so you need to shift something, really, and you need to think about deeply how to do it. So with that being said, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get into this reading. Let's clarify what a seven of swords is here. In your opportunity. Okay, opportunity to represent a scheme. Are you being schemed by society? Which 99% of the population is, okay? Uh 
Are you being schemed by yourself, your own mindset? Are you, you need to get out of something before you get more hurt with a bad habit? That's for some of you, even though it's very uncomfortable. And probably, yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and see why is the Seven of Swords here for you. Hmm, you have the Seven of Pentacles again. This is in your overall general energy. Now it's coming out twice. So it's like, yeah, what are you going to... It's almost like you're about to invest in something that's going to cause you to self-destruct down the line. I'm telling you. So it's like, pick your poison here, Sagittarius. Some of you are about to get into a relationship. Some of you are about to get into a job. Or some of you are about to commit to a certain path in life that makes sense in the moment. But you know in like a year or in like six months, you're going to flip out, basically. And... There's two paths in front of you right now, but let's go ahead and see. Why is the Seven of Swords here? You're also, it's the reflection before uh, of getting, a f like this is very uncomfortable. And because it's in your subconscious mind, this is gonna be something I'm already feeling the energy. When pe it's like literally sometimes, not always, but it's hilarious when people are like, oh, I don't resonate. I just don't really resonate with that. Like, it's like funny. Like when I, I can just clearly, like if I'm doing a personal reading, I can clearly see what someone's problem is. And I'm like, this is what is in your subconscious mind. This is literally the thing that's blocking your life. And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. I just don't resonate with that. The reason why you don't resonate with that is because it's in your subconscious mind. So I'm sorry. I'm fire and earth. I can be nasty. I'm sorry. But like... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here in your opportunity? The world and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, yeah. You've been doing something that has gotten you so far, but it cannot get you any further. You're due for a major, major upgrade in your life. And uh, it's, it's almost like I'm just getting a nasty reflection. All right, opportunity, seven of swords, challenge, three of swords. You're really gonna have to, and, and what you don't see coming, devil. And it's something, your, adv your advice from spirit, it's something that it's unfinished business. You've been running away from this truth. You've been running away from this deep, deep truth, Sagittarius. And, um, it's time for you to really be mature and look at this, okay? And um, let's clarify why the Three of Swords is here. It's something I'm telling you, like, it's an ending. The world and the Ten of Swords, that means ending, ending. Seven of Pentacles, what you've been investing your energy into. Uh, it's very dangerous. Let's go ahead and see why the Three of Swords is here as well. Why is the Three of Swords here in your challenge? The Three of Swords is clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Star, and also the High Priestess here. So yeah, your intuition is telling you something that you need to do to heal yourself. Your challenge is that you're, you may just take the path of least resistance, okay? Four of Pentacles, you may just consolidate your resources and say, no, this is mine, uh, something like that. But the High Priestess to the, the, this is tricky. You know, this is intuitive healing here, okay? Three of Swords, High Priestess to the Star. Someone may also be, once again, if that Seven of Swords represents someone else here, you're going to have to disconnect from them. And someone may not be giving you something, and it's very immature behavior that you're going to have to call out. That's why these two queens are here. You're going to have to step up. You're going to have to be a queen and call out a page. If you happen to be more masculine, take this as the kings, okay? You can embody the king of swords, king of wands, and call out a page of cups and a page of pentacles. But for others of you, Sagittarius, this is self-imposed. This is something that is very challenging. Um, let's clarify why this devil is here. For more information, why is this devil here in what you don't see coming?
Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Something you're not really open to, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm telling you that's why I channeled that before. Right? I don't resonate with this. You don't resonate with this reading, Sagittarius. Go magician. Yeah. Using your powers of manifestation for no good. I'm telling you. Fool and the Empress. This is a major shit. Or, uh, this is, this is, it's something that you're not willing to look at. A bad habit, someone, it's like, but it's spiritual, right? These are major arcana, the magician, the empress, and also the fool here. Okay, and uh, what, I'm, what I'm basically, I feel like I've given you enough food for thought here. Spirit's actually calling me to end this reading right here for some reason. I'll listen to it. But Sagittarius, take a deep look at yourself and don't be putting pressure on yourself to have it all figured out. I know that I sometimes can come off like that, but take time out for yourself. Take time to rest here in your overall general energy. Understand that you do have great relationships coming in, but you're really going to have to look at something from maybe a different perspective here to do the healing or like do what you know you need to do. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading, Sagittarius. I hope you have a great, great July. I'll talk to you next time. This is the Autistic Mystic.